the Republic of Fiji is a tropical paradise and the destination of just about every cruiser when in the Southern Hemisphere. However, in response to the COVID-19 global pandemic, most countries have closed their borders to protect the safety and health of their residents. Fiji is one of the only countries to almost eliminate the virus altogether. And because of the diligence of the Fijian governments and ministries, they've become one of the only countries to now reopen their borders to private yachts and cruisers in an effort to restore their tourism-dependent economy. Keith from Zatara sat down with two of the key officials who are organizing the border entry procedures, known as the Blue Lanes, as they work with cruisers to effectively manage the country's health risk while also opening up their economic pathways. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the show today. Today we're sitting here talking with Cynthia Rush from Port Dineral Marina. She's a manager here and live from the Customs and Fiji Customs and Immigration. They've joined us today. We're gonna to talk about the Blue Lanes, how to get into Fiji, and what all cruisers can expect on their arrival when they get here in Fiji, and what they need to do prior before they get to, the, to Fiji. Cynthia, thanks for being here. Lai, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, uh, Fiji came out with the Blue Lanes Initiative, and Cynthia, I think you were had a big hand behind pushing all that through. Yes, so, it was hard work. <laughs> hard work. So you had to get revenue and customs. Yep. You had to get Ministry of Health. Yep. And um, the Navy and biosecurity all together, right? Correct and they all had to agree on how this process was gonna work. Yep. If you're a cruiser anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter where you're coming from. Uh, if you wanna to come to Fiji, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, they accept all cruisers as long as you follow the Blue Lanes initiative and the Blue Lanes procedure uh, and the framework, right? Correct, yes. All right, so if I'm a cruiser and I'm in Australia, New Zealand, the Tuamotos, French Polynesia, America, and I wanna to come, to, um, to come to Fiji, what's the first thing I need to do? you will need to engage um, into the services of a Fiji yacht agent who's actually going to run through the processes and help you with the approval. And there's three agents right now. Correct. The agents are actually registered in Fiji and recognized by the Fiji Revenue and Customs uh, Services. So at this moment, and they are all based at Denarau. Okay. Um, you've got Yacht Partners, right. um, Josephine Morris runs that. You've got um, Yacht Help, which is David Jamison, and we've got Seal Super Yachts, which is Chase Smith. In the description, if you want to see the links guide, you can click on that and it'll, it'll link you up with those agents. So that's the first thing you need to do. Number two thing you need to do before you come to Fiji. Right. So once you've engaged with an agent, you will have to carry out a RT-PCR or a COVID negative test. Okay. Yep. That test, uh, so from the time that you to do the test to the time that you depart, it has to be no less than 72 hours. So there's a change in the procedure okay. from the first time that Zatara arrived here. Um, it was previously 48 hours, now it's been changed to 72 hours. Okay, so that means that if, I, if I'm if i getting a COVID test in New Zealand, mm -hmm. I have to get that, let's say it's Monday, mm -hmm. I get a COVID test on Monday, I have to leave New Zealand, I have to have the negative test back. Yep. Mm -hmm and leave New Zealand within 72 hours. That's correct, yes, okay. from the test results. Okay. Once I have the COVID test in hand, it doesn't need to be an email format, it needs to be a letterhead format from a doctor's office, correct? Absolutely, it has to be in the lab results, so it has to have the letterhead off that lab, uh -huh. um, and so it has to be formal, and many of the times, uh, we know that many people use sale mail and they can't send attachment, uh, my iridium can't sell, send attachment, so it's best that you get those documentations prior to you departing if you've got issues such as that. Okay, so once they have the negative COVID test in hand, what do they do with that? They forward it to the agents and the agents then put it to, through the government agencies to get an approval for the vessel to be able to enter into Fiji waters. Does that paper, does the COVID test need to dock, accompany any other paperwork? Yes. It has to have your advanced notification form. Or that, the, yep, that's what this is. Yep, or your C2C. So if you've been to Fiji previously, you'd have filled this. Right. But uh, otherwise, if you're new to it, you can download them onto the in the Port General Marina site or the Customs site. You attach your COVID test to this form, fill that out, send that to your agent. Then your agent forwards that to who? So there is a COVID risk, uh, risk management task force, which is put together with uh, m mainly health and uh, MC Triple T, which is the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism, and Transport. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Okay. So anyway, they um, they then sit together um, and um, go through your um, approved through the approval process, go through your paperwork and your test, and then give an approval letter or a rejection letter based on so now application. We started on a Monday, we have 72 hours before we get an approval back, mm -hmm. and, and now Fiji's getting these turned around within 24 to 48 hours. Now. Correct, yes. So that's pretty good timing. Yep. That's, that's very, very good. I mean, you guys are doing great. So 
Guys, it's not that hard. It's, it's really streamlined. It was a little different when Zotara came in here because we was one of the first boats in here and so they were organizing and planning and we had the approvals to come here. But it was not all formed up yet. That's correct, yes. But, but now they've got it formed and these are the rules as of today. So once you've got the pre-approval from you guys, within the 72 hour period, we can leave wherever we're at. Correct. And we can come to Fiji. Absolutely. There's a few other things that you need to fulfill now while you're in passage or prior to your departure. One is that you need a Care Fiji app, which is a tracing app. Okay. Um, you can download it on Google Play, I mm -hmm. understand. Uh, but if you type onto your browser, you should be able to get a download. That's the Care Fiji app. That's a Care Fiji app. It traces uh, contact tracing. Right. Yep. You'll have to download that, and you also have to turn on your AIS right. to make sure that Navy and, um, you know, m well, mainly Navy for the surveillance purposes is able to see that you have uninterrupted sailing. Right. So, guys, understand you got to have the Care Fiji app downloaded on your phone before you leave, and then your AIS is very important because the Navy is in charge of enforcing the quarantine, and they are going to recognize what they see on AIS, what they can track off of your AIS. So. The rule is right now, and it was for us to, we stopped in Minerva Reef, and that reset our quarantine to the start the last time we anchored. So the last time we anchored was in, in uh, Minerva, so our 14 days started over again, and we had to, we, so we had about an extra eight days, nine days of quarantine out here on the hook in Fiji, which was no big deal, because it was worth stopping and, and doing what we did. But I recommend you come straight here, uh, take your time getting here, take a nice weather window, and then your 14 days gets here. Now, once you're here, you guys have a designated uh, quarantine area. That's correct. Yep. At Port Dinaral, that's the only place you can get into Fiji right now because this is where they're try. They're. Uh, We're doing the uh, pro pilot project. The pilot project right here in Dinaral, and you're more than welcome to come here once you've fulfilled these obligations, and you go into the quarantine area. Once they arrive in the quarantine area, what do what should they do? They should um, radio us. So radio Port Dinaral Marina. Get in contact with the agents on radio as well. Okay. Um, Port Dinaral Marina lives on channel one four. Okay. Um, so radio and, and inform. If there's okay. no Navy around, otherwise Navy picks you up. Okay. Basically, Navy will come up to you and welcome you and ask you a few questions. Um, we'll check if your KFEG app is on as well. Okay. Um, and then they will determine how many days from your AIS that you have got remaining on the quarantine okay. area. After the quarantine period is over, on day 12, mm -hmm. before you finish your 14 days, you will be required to do a mandatory nasal swab. And that would then determine if you're absolutely negative. Mm -hmm. And that's on day 14 you have to do that or day, day 12? 12. At day this 12. moment we have targeted day 12. Okay. Um, now that may change also depending on logistics, but at this moment it's on day 12. So then you've got two days maximum to get the test results. And then once that's cleared, you can come in and dock at Port General Marina and finish all your other arrival processes. Right. The COVID test you have to get when you get to Fiji, do we have to pay for that or is that a government paid for thing now? Um, it will be um, regulated shortly okay. and it'll be paid for by the people on board. Okay. It is at this moment approximately $300 Fijian. $300 Fijian yes. dollars, okay. But uh, that has to be regulated. So this is why the ones that have come through have not been charged for it. Okay. Yeah. One other thing we didn't touch on was the cruising permit. Mm -hmm. uh, once we that's the main thing cruisers are wanting is that mm -hmm. cruising permit so we can go see all the islands and, and go to all the places. How long can we expect to get a cruising permit back? Uh, I think the fast ones have turned around within a couple of hours yeah, of clearance, right? Of yeah. It, yeah. So if, if you're talking to agents and your agents know for sure that you are getting your um, inward clearances done when you come to dock, yep. they would already, and if you want to engage your agents to assist you with a cruising permit, mm. your agents would already have your cruising per permit pretty much ready as soon as you get your rotation yep. number, I think, right? Yeah. Good. And what does it typically cost to use these agents by the time you get totally cleared in? Are y'all seeing any kind of cost with that or what, what you can expect, what cruisers can expect just to range? Because the agents are doing your approval processes and they are doing a lot of run around for you to try to get your documentation together. Right. So I think the cost initially or at this moment is somewhere around about the $300 mar mark for right. the agents. Right. Now that may be subject to change if things change as well. Okay. Yeah. You come to the dock. Uh, and you, you clear in. Can you also arrange for a boat to come out if they don't want to come? Do they have to come to the marina? They, um, at this moment, logistics is, um, unless and until you hire a boat to get out there to mm. get your, you know, the agents across to be able to do that, mm. then that may be allowed. But at this moment, they'll have to come to the dock. Okay. So what the marina has done is for clearances, we are charging 25% of what our current berthing rate is okay. for vessels that just want to clear. And that gives you a six hour window to be able to do the clearance pr uh, process, um, get your provisioning, etc., and then leave. Okay. Yeah. 
And guys, that's what it is. It's super easy. It's not complicated. It's really not complicated now because they've streamlined everything. Like I said, they got one form, one download. Fill it out. If you've got Adobe Acrobat, you can fill it out, auto fill the form out. That's what we did. And uh, all the forms are in one spot. You don't have to go to different uh, ministries to find them. And uh, Cynthia and, and Customs and everybody's done a great job Thank you. making this happen. If you have any questions, just write and inquire because there are different circumstances for different people. Um, the rules are very simple. The rules are actually very easy to follow. They have all the prior to departure on passage on arrival so it's very broken down into you know bite sizes so you can right. comprehend and understand but if you have issues if you have problems or if you hit a snag talk to us or talk to the agent so that they can help you but don't just come through because yeah. you will yes. get fined you could probably get imprisoned or you could lose your boat yes um and you could get turned away as well and be blacklisted you don't want to be that right the main thing we want to get across to all of y'all out there is you don't need to live in fear and let fear mandate your decisions about coming to Fiji. Well, another question I do have, let's say that, that uh, Australia or New Zealand or any place out of the cyclone uh, belt doesn't open up and we have to stay here. What about our visas? Is the government going to extend our visas, immigration going to extend our visas to so that we can shelter here during cyclone season? Yes, we do. We've uh, done a few cases on a few yachts that, that was here during cyclone season. Okay. <clears throat> they just need to visit our own immigration office for extension of the visas, especially persons on board. Okay. And for the for your yachts, if it's after 18 months of stay in Fiji, uh -huh. with the COVID-19 pandemic, we're issuing extensions of six months. Okay. So we don't need to be fearful that yes. we're going to get kicked out right in the middle of the cyclone season. You guys are going to work with us yeah. and, and visa holders to extend visas. Yeah. And of course, we understand this is a global pandemic. Yes. 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 Well, that's good. Well, guys, uh, uh, are the Fijians happy that cruisers are coming here now? Yes, I think there's Very been, much. yes. We just want more of them. Yeah, yeah, we want more of them. Well, there's <laughs> two or three hundred of them down there in New Zealand that want to come this way, but they're just afraid they ain't going to be able to get back to New Zealand or afraid they're not going to be able to get somewhere out of cyclone season. Right, but. yeah. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for joining us this morning and uh, and, and clarifying this because a lot of people are still kind of confused mm -hmm. and they want to see how easy it is, and it was really easy. It wasn't that hard at all. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Cynthia, thanks for coming out today. Thank you, Keith, Bye. for having us. Thank you for coming out. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy to have you guys here. Welcome to our shores, and we look forward to welcoming the rest of the, the cruisers that are out there. That's right. Yep. And guys, thanks for watching the show, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there on the water.